Hi, Sierra. My name is Cole, just sing V. And my name is Rudy Sing V. Together, we made DG Predict, an artificial intelligence based application to predict early diabetes. And now let's talk about our pre diabetes project. Here are some fast facts that show why prediabetes is such an important disease to research. Over 425 million people had prediabetes in 2017, but 50% of people who had prediabetes don't even have it because prediabetes is an asymptomatic condition. So it goes through long asymptomatic phases where the prediabetes slowly worsens into diabetes, and because they don't even have it, they can't do anything to stop it. However, if they do know how what is causing it, then according to the CDC in 2021, prediabetes can be prevent diabetes by changing their diet, altering their lifestyle, and adding more exercise into their lifestyle. And with that, the prediabetes will not develop into diabetes. Here are the current CDC guidelines for prediabetes in 2021. Here's their prediabetes risk test and scoring, but it's hard to understand. It is not very accurate. Here are some parameters in my model. The ones that read are the ones identified in any other study. And this is the only study to have parameters that are only based on behavioral and physical attributes. Because for example, you don't have to go to a lab to know if you have excessive thirst or not. Here are the machine learning models in my project, and the random forest model was the most accurate at over 98% in testing data accuracy. Now let's go to the source code of my project. Here's the source code for my project. First, here's the libraries that I imported. And next up, I began importing my data and started to visualize it, and I made a correlation matrix or heat map to show how different parameters of my, uh, of my study correlated with one another. Next up, I began to continue visualizing it and started checking for accuracy, and I found that the random forest model was the most accurate, so I used it to figure out what are the most important factors for determining prediabetes, and the answer was polyuria, followed by age, polydipsia, and gender. Now, my sister will walk you through the software. It takes approximately one to two minutes to check if you have prediabetes using our web-based prediabetes calculator. Here's the calculator you can put in your gender, height, age, and weight, which is used capability with BMI to check if you are obese or not. You can then select your symptoms, which are translated from a medical term such as polydipsia, which means excessive dry thirst or dry throat, as the first selection right here says. And it can be to plain English so that anyone can understand them. After you select your symptoms, as I'm doing right here, you then will say, based on your inputs, you have a fair chance of prediabetes. If it says that, you should consult with a doctor. This software is extremely easy to use for anyone worldwide, even if they don't have knowledge in the subject. Thank you for your time.